Hey everyone, so I wanted to do an initial review on the tent that I'm taking on my Pacific Crest Trail through hike because I've never done extensive backpacking in a freestanding tent before. I'll be using a Z-Pax Soulplex tent. Um, I've set it up several times and it seems to be really durable and easy to set up, but I'm still a little nervous since I'm not very comfortable with it. So I just wanted to hop on here um, show you my first initial thoughts on it and see if I still feel the same after my hike. So here we have the tent pretty much set up. It's been crumpled in its bag for so long that it looks like some flapping seaweed, but it is not. It is my shelter. I am still trying to figure out how to make these uh, surfaces smooth. I have many nights to perfect it, but I wanted to show you real quickly how I set this tent up. So there are eight stakes that come with it, and I started by putting stakes in all four corners. So run here. One on that side, then obviously over here. And on two of the, two of the corners, there's the Z-Pax logo, so it makes it easy to, you know, to find the corners. And then once those were, you know, in the ground, I came over to where the door is. There's only one on this tent. And this is where the first trekking pole goes. This is supposed to be the taller trekking pole. I'm trying to see. Under there, where the pad goes, where the trekking pole just uh, rests. So once I got the pole in a decent spot, then I took this cord and put that stake in. And I came to this side, did the same thing over here. But with this trekking pole, this is the smaller, uh, or the, excuse me, the shorter of the two. Then I stake that in. So once I had those six stakes in, then I went around and just tightened, you know, whatever corners I thought needed to be tightened, especially over here. It keeps dipping for me, so I think I just have to keep tightening this little section to achieve like a flatter surface, but that's going to take some learning on my part. So once I was pretty satisfied with the position of everything, then I came around with the last two stakes in on these sides of the tent. Oh, and see that one already came out. Oh, the wind. So, non-disclosure, I totally didn't tighten these too much since this is just practice, but here you have this. So let's look inside. So this tent does have storm doors. <laughs> It's a little windy right now, obviously, so it might be hard for me to show you um, with my one hand with the wind. But here on this side, as you can see, there's like a little loop. And on this door, you fasten it by putting that through the loop. That gives uh, one point of closure right there. And then if we go down here, you see where the stake is. There are these like custom, this custom made metal hook right here. These, that gets pulled up to these little clips. There's one on this door and one on this door. So that's just another means of closure in case there is a storm. But let's get inside. I love the bright yellow uh, board. It makes it easy to see. Okay. All right. So <laughs> here we are. <laughs> It is definitely small. It obviously is a one man's tent. Oh, so I do need to note that I did get the camo material because it is a little bit heavier than the other uh, colors available on Z-Packs. And that is um, because it makes it a little bit less see-through because this material can be a bit see-through at times. Um, so I got the camo, but also because um, clearly if you're wearing camouflage, no one can see you. And that's the joke of the century, right? So 
So one of the cool features of this tent is you see this mesh panel, I'll call it right here. What's supposed to happen is the condensation will fall down here. You probably can't see what's going on. But instead of it coming inside the tent onto the ground, it's supposed to just go through this mesh. So it's supposed to leave as much water out, out of your tent as possible, which is exactly what every hiker wants. So I am almost 5'4", almost, and I'm sitting straight up, and I still have uh, room for my head, and if I'm like changing or something, there's still more room for me in here, and so I thought maybe I'd lay down. Okay, so if I'm laying my head here, there's still a lot of space. See, I can make this tighter in my setup, but here is how much room I have. I look down here, I still have a lot of room and my feet. I can even probably fit my pack right at the bottom and, you know, get in the practice of setting my feet up on my pack for elevation. But it's pretty cozy in here. I like it. Um, like I said, I still have to get better at setting this thing up. So if you are like a Z-Packs expert watching this, please don't cringe yet. So overall, I think I'm going to really like the tent, except I really need to keep practicing putting it up because I'm clearly not getting uh, certain parts as tight as they need to be and other parts are too tight, which means I'm not utilizing like the bathtub and all of that um, to the fullest, which is what it's uh, you know meant for. So I'm just gonna keep practicing, but yeah, I really think I'm gonna like this tent because first of all, it's really lightweight. It's about a little under 1.2 pounds with everything, with even the bag, the tent itself, and the stakes. There's eight titanium stakes that come with it, or that I bought with it. So yeah, that's like extremely light. You can barely feel it in your hand when you're holding it all together. And it seems really durable. But yeah, once again, I just need to keep practicing putting it up and then breaking it down. But yeah, it seems really cozy and I feel comfortable in here. And because it's camouflaged, maybe the bears won't be able to see me. I'll tell my mom that and it'll make her feel a little bit better. Not like they can smell or anything. So I set this tent up and I showed you my C plus job. But yeah, it looks pretty good, yeah. So what makes this tent so awesome is that it's made out of DCF. It's called Dyneema Composite Fabric. And basically what that means to me is that there's a very high strength to weight ratio. So these things are super durable, but super light at the same time. And they're supposed to be pretty waterproof, but we'll see um, after I put some use in it, especially in the rain. I'm sure there'll be some nights. But yeah, those are my initial thoughts. Like I said, I don't have much to say about it just yet, but I'm very curious to see how I'm gonna feel about it when I've been sleeping in this, my home, my humble abode for a few months or whatever. And if it's just miserable, then REI has lots of tents, but I've just heard a lot of good things about it. So I'm actually excited to try it out. I don't think it's gonna be too small for me. I think it'll be just right. And I'm really excited about how light it is because I have some other little heavy things. So if I can just lighten my pack in any way, that's awesome. This is one of those. So I'm pretty stoked. But thank you guys for tuning in. And if you have any tips, please let me know because I can clearly use them. Ah! See you guys out on the trails. Bye. It's so windy here. I don't have those dorm doors cinched down. But I can get an idea of how the tent sounds in the wind. It's not that bad. I've had worse. This is so comfortable. All right, I can do this. I can sleep in this thing for five months. I assure you, I got this. Thanks, sleep packs. My mom is worried about my tent situation. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's not gonna protect her. Mom, what is it gonna not protect me from? The bear. <laughs>
Up here. I told you guys she would say that. 